we are here in a Mopani stand. Uh, Mopani are these trees which you see here to the left and they have a pretty they're pretty resilient to disturbance and in this case it's mainly disturbance through elephant like the other trees the acacia trees I showed you earlier they basically die these Mopanis keep on growing if you look at this tree over here it has a pretty thick stem and uh, but it's only about three and a half meters tall so elephants constantly remove remove new growth and the tree can't really grow in height but it grows in width so normally this tree would like the tree would look like the tree behind me so i think this is another cool example of how ecosystems can be affected by herbivorous species in this case this stand behind me is mainly unique it's the same age structure it's the same height and this is all caused by elephants the other thing is it's pretty dense and that's why I want to get out of here because buffaloes like to hide in here let's go Here's another good example on, of how much abuse these trees can actually take. This is a completely broken off stem and it literally re-sprouts out of the old stem and it just keeps on growing. They're almost indestructible, these trees. This is a prime example of how cool plants actually are. These two leaves look similar, they're different in size. They come from the same tree. The difference is this leaf is exposed to the sun and this is what is called a shade leaf. This leaf is thicker, this leaf is thinner. And the reason why there is a size difference is that all these leaves do, the job of these leaves is to balance CO2 in, water out, and the internal temperature. So if you would be a leaf and you would be on top of the tree, you want to be small in order and in order to minimize the water loss. If you are in the shade and you're not exposed to, to sun, you don't care about this. So you can afford to be a big leaf in order to maximize photosynthesis. On top of this, this tree actually has another good adaption function. And while it is exposed to the heat of the midday, it folds these leaves up and it therefore decreases the area that is exposed to the sun. Pretty cool stuff.